Well, I'm going to begin, uh, guys, just by asking if you could just tell me a little bit about your roles and how they fit into this movie. I play Leah. Um, she's Timmy's girlfriend, and she's kind of like the moral compass of the story. She's one of the characters that are kind of pushing the message that we want to put across. Yeah, I play Timmy. He's a he's a laid back, reserved kind of guy, and he's shy. And you kind of just watch Timmy go on a journey through life and how he gets sucked into gang culture. So how did you guys come to be in, involved in this project? Because, I mean, it's, it's, it's collecting such an incredible amount of creativity from, from sort of some uh, array of sort of young actors. Just wondering about your sort of process and the sort of how you got yeah, came to be involved. For me, um, Ratman reached out to me and asked me to audition for mm. <laughs> the film. <laughs> and we worked together beforehand. And, um, yeah, he asked me to come in. I auditioned. I sang a song because Leah sings as well. And then, yeah, we took it from there. Um, I actually auditioned back in January. And it's funny because I actually sent Ratman an email a year ago, kind of asking, oh, if you've got any projects coming up, it'll be a pleasure to work with you. <laughs> and then, yeah, I got the audition in January and done my thing and yeah, they liked it. Did he reply to your email? Yeah, he didn't, uh, he have didn't. You, have, have you confronted him? <laughs> I've told him, but he's like, oh, I get so many of them, man. Because <laughs> I mean, you both, did you both grow up in London? Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, in this film, this, this it seems to, it shows a sort of choice that I think that people have to make when they're sort of 15 or 16, which I think a lot of people um, have to make, which is sort of which path they go down. I was wondering if you guys can recall when you were sort of 15 or 16 and, and if you felt there was a tangible choice to make, did, you, did it feel at a time where you felt like there were two paths for you? Yeah, with me, when I was like 16 or 15, I was in um, year 11 in school we kind of had an assembly about career paths and from there I was just thinking if that was to ever get into a career where would it be and I just remember loving drama so much so yeah that was the moment for me where I just kind of decided to take acting seriously. Hmm. Uh, for me I funny enough I wanted to be a lawyer um, but yeah I just kind of you know I really enjoyed acting I didn't know it was a career until I got about to 16 and that's when I decided that's what I want to do. And do you think that sort of schools and, 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 and sort of programmes are doing enough to, to nurture sort of creativity in, in the youth today? Because I mean, I remember at my school, one of my really good friends, he really wanted to be an actor as well. But mm -hmm. then he had a house party at some point and then some kids turned up and it got a bit dodgy and they started mm -hmm. hanging around our school. And the yeah. teachers got wind of the fact that, that he was, there was a bit of trouble and they didn't, get, they didn't let him into sick form off the back of that. Wow. And now he's not doing much with his life. And I felt like there was a little moment that he needed someone to take a sort of chance on him. I was just wondering if you think that people are doing enough for... The people of that generation? Um, possibly not, man. Possibly, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there's a lack of opportunities. And yeah, even going back to the film, like you, you kind of see like there's a lack of there's a lack of role models, a lack of good role models as well. And you know that's kind of relates back to real life. A lot of the times you see these young boys and they don't really know what to do with themselves. So you just find them on their estate doing nothing. Mm. Well, going back to the arts project thing, I feel like a lot of arts are cut. Do you know what I mean? When I went to school and it was quite um, academic, they didn't tell me that acting was a career. I remember when I said to a teacher, I want to be an actor, they were kind of like, oh, you're going to be broke or something like that. And I was mm. kind of like, whoa, like, this is what I want to do. I feel like, yeah, there's not enough schools that are pushing that kind of side of things. Mm. I was, do you think there's a sort of slight thing with, with mentality as well? Because I was wondering, when I was watching this movie, there, there was a guy sat next to me, and there's a moment when I think there's, you guys are sort of getting, the characters are getting quite loved up, and sort of Timmy's mm. starting to fall in love quite clearly. <laughs> and the kid next to me just said under his breath, what a loser. And I thought to myself, I watched that scene and thought, <laughs> and I thought, this is great, Aww. watching this guy kind of like experience this <laughs> for the first time. But it does show that there's still that, you know, the, the, what the character's going through, people still have got a bit, there's a bit of um, a, feat, I don't know, a, a stigma, I suppose attached in and kind of sort of maturing at that age I guess people still want you to kind of stick around with your friends and stuff yeah for yeah. real and you see that with Timmy as well like when he's you know in the party scene and then there's that altercation yeah. and then Leah's like what are you trying to prove like you, this is not you like you're this sweet person who's yeah. like studious and stuff but you're just trying to you know cause like problems because yeah, I was wondering, too, I mean, obviously the film, the, con contextually, the, it's obviously got the knife crime in London is, is something that sort of enriches this story. We see sort of news reports and stuff. I mean, you're talking about, obviously, the messages that this, this, this sort of preaches. I mean, how important is a film like this in showing the futility of kind of violence in, in London today? I think it's important because mm. a lot of people never really see the side of the story. They kind of just see the end result, which is there's a thug that's done this, there's a gang member that's done this. They never mm. really show, like, how the person gets there. And obviously with the film and just watching Timmy's journey, that portrays that. So yeah, I think it's important to see the other side of the story. And do you think that we're seeing a more authentic depiction of London now on screen? And we ever have, I'm obviously Top Boys on at the moment, and obviously a few going back a few years with the sort of killerhood and adulthood. Do you think, do you, if seeing a more recognisable side of London on, on in, in the arts and in the media than you have before? I'd say it's authentic, because Ratman's the one who's written it. It's kind of loosely based around his life. So yeah, he's 
been in that area he's kind of written about his experiences so yeah i feel like a lot yeah. of people are now coming to start to write about london now which is which is great because even with top boy the guy that wrote it he said he saw someone selling drugs and that's why he came up with that idea and like carla said with rap man mm. this is based on his childhood mm. so yeah so what's he like as a director because obviously so many of us know him from the kind of from the youtube series but i mean people are so fascinated <laughs> to see how he's gone from shiro's story to the big screen he's yeah. so confident in his craft man like he's He's such a hands-on guy, like he'll get into your character <laughs> if he needs to. At times he was putting on Leah's voice. He was. <laughs> <laughs> putting on Leah's voice to to like help her with it. But yeah, he's yeah. He's, he's, he's he's good with it. Well, did he do a decent impression? So Timmy, Timmy, Timmy. Cool, baby. Thanks so much for your time. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!